I'm Gerald Moore, and I am reading from Beloved by Toni Morrison. When they caught up with each other, all 30, and arrived at 124, the first thing they saw was not Denver sitting on the steps, but themselves, younger, stronger, even as little girls lying in the green and the grass asleep. Catfish was popping grease in the pan, and they saw themselves scoop German potato salad onto the plate. Cobbler oozing purple syrup colored their teeth. They sat on the porch, ran down to the creek, teased the men, hoisted children on their hips, or if they were the children, straddled on the ankles of old men who held their little hands while giving them a horsey ride. Baby Suggs laughed and skipped among them, urging more. Mothers, dead now, moved their shoulders to mouth harps. The fence they had leaned on and climbed over was gone. The stump of the butternut had split like a fan, but they were, but there they were, young and happy, playing in Baby Sook's yard, not feeling the envy that surfaced the next day. Denver heard Mumley and looked to the left. She stood when she saw them. They grouped, murmuring and whispering, but did not step foot in the yard. Denver waved. A few waved back, but came no closer. Denver sat back down, wondering what was going on. A woman dropped to her knees. Half of the others did likewise. Denver saw lowered heads but could not hear the lead prayer. Only the earnest syllables of agreement that backed it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, hear me. Hear me. Do it, maker, do it. Yes, among those not on their knees who stood holding 124 in a fixed glaze was Ella trying to see through the walls behind the door to what was really there. I chose this because this Toni Morrison, one of my favorite authors, and a lot of her books are, are challenged, um, but she uh, captures the Black experience in so many indelible ways, and I have always enjoyed um, her books. One of my favorite books by her is actually Song of Solomon, but Beloved is, is another one that I really enjoy.